First pitch coming at you right after the break. into the ballpark happy to have you with us the World Series on MLB the show coming up it's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the New York Yankees joined by my partner Chris Singleton I'm John Shambi there may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic Singy. lots of excitement to get this thing started yeah and the players feel that just as much as the fans you're down there with goosebumps and these players are just trying to stay in the moment but I'll tell you for the home team especially it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now and on the other side of course you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road first pitch coming your way next Just about ready to roll. And on the mound in this one, Garrett Cole. What do we have on him? Well, this guy featuring that straight forcing fastball, but off of it throws the cutter. And really, he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the forcing fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second. So hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. There's a strike. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now it's Mookie Betts. The pitch. Ground ball right side could be two. Feeds to second, out there. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Swing and a miss. It's a ball in two strikes. Two outs. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. On to the bottom of the first. No score. at Yankee Stadium and towing the slab in this one Jack Flaherty what should we keep an eye on here well I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup move you know it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch but he does mix it in when he needs it he's just got to make sure that it's not flat otherwise it's going to get hit hard so look for him to go. throw it up there Four when he needs game. a big double play a ground ball like something like that to get out of an right. inning change it up for a hitter also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. Now this is in the air down the line, and it's just foul. Got him looking, and one out now. No, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up and it's a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're trying to protect away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called a ball but either way that's a really nice pitch. Swing 
swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And that misses off the outside edge. And a pitch. That one misses. And now 3 and 1. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. And yeah, there's ball four. ball 4. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So, man aboard, Giancarlo Stanton digs in now. And a pitch. And that one in the air center field. Hernandez has it sized up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. The Yanks leave one, scoreless after one. And we're back. Second inning set to go. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The wind of the pitch. This one in the air right field. Stanton makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Muncie to hit. One down, base is empty. Now one fouled off, two and two. No score here in the second. Left hand hitter waits. Bows it back with two strikes. That one in the dirt. Three and two now. We got a full count. Lined, and that's a base hit. So he ends up with a hit after seeing a lot of pitches. That was a good at bat. Here's Kike Hernandez. Two and two. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. The pitch. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. There's one over the first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. For more from the Bronx. Bottom of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. That one missed. Rip to short. Throw on to Freeman. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Batting six. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How did it cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does... Be careful because he can hit it a long way. And he grounds one to the right side. 
Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Rizzo out of the play. That's your stop. Anthony. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. One ball, two strike. Foul ball still, one and two count. Two outs. Bounced out to short, Edmund. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Yanks held in check. We'll move to the third with no score. Back in New York, and up to the plate is Will Smith. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Siggy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Back, go! And it gives them the lead in the third. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Such an incredible swing right there on that breaking ball away. Did an incredible job of keeping the hands back, letting it travel. And boy, he just hammered that. Recognized the break. And, man, this guy kept his front foot down. Weight didn't transfer until the exact time. An excellent backspin to carry it over the fence. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Tommy Edmond at the plate. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Here goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Save. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Swing and he breaks his bat. Makes the catch, and there's one goal. So the lineup flips over, and next is the designated hitter, Chris Taylor. Up and in, three and two down. And it's second. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Here's the throw to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they take a two-run lead. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. One gone runner at first. Here's Mookie Betts. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw the second tag. 
out at second. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. Two down, nobody on. Ball. In the air, left side. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Dodgers two and the Yankees nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, leading off Austin Wells. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. One and two, count. A wide to kick the pitch. And two, another two. ball. The 2 2. Cold strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle, so I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. One down, base is empty. Hit hard on the ground is short. And Verdugo is set down. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Labor Torres up to hit. Ball to strike. Right through there for a strike. Wind in the pitch. That one two well two. upstairs. It's two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Juan Soto hoping for a chance. He would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boo, plenty of power in that bat. And they'd love to give him a shot here. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and the Yanks go quietly. One, two, three, go the Yankees, and they're down two nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Freddie Freeman. One one now. In the air, right side. Stanton is there. Balls it in, and there's one away. The batter, the left hitter. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. Base is empty, one away here in game one. Line drive, come on! He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. And another ball.
Kicks and fires. Gets the outside corner with that one. Got him swinging. Dodgers down in order, but they're on top 2 nothing. Game one of the World Series. Here's some real power at the plate. Juan Soto. Soto. Next offering is outside. You know, these Yankees just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding. Oh, now a great stop. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. Up next to the The center field. Aaron. John. It's Aaron Judge now. Inside ball four. You know, Bill, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. One, two now. Two and two. The Yankees hitless so far in the game. Wouldn't Got chase it. that time. Got it by him for the K. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Just missed. Anthony Rizzo to bat next. Two outs. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Playable Betts makes the grab, and there's one away. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Dodgers two, and the Yankees nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. The 1 1. Just missed. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so. They keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. And there's one away. Now batting. The catcher, Will Smith. Now, Will Smith. One out, base is empty. On the ground, right side. He takes oh. it on his own. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. And up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. 
Swings and misses. Gonna count one and two. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to them, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Just that missed. Man, really good take, especially with two strikes. Count is full. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one of the World Series. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Dodgers go down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Back in the Bronx, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Next offering is in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and deals. And that skips in the dirt. And another ball. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. And that one is lifted in the air. Betts settles underneath it. Corrals it. And there's one away. The batter number 11. Shortstop. Anthony Volpe now at the plate. The Dodgers up by two. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The shortstop takes the ball. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. All that high four seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. That one almost got him. Two and one now. And that drops in for a strike. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Down in order, go to Yankees. They trail things here, two nothing. in the Bronx all set for the top of the sixth and at the plate for the Dodgers Tommy Edmond yeah. and strike two ground ball up the middle that's a base hit man aboard on the leadoff single to the top of the Dodgers order. Here comes Chris Taylor. And a foul ball. Edmund aboard here at first with nobody out. Cole a check to first. And he's back standing. Pitch got the better of him that time. 
Yeah, that's pretty sick. Late cutting action to get the swing and miss right there. I mean, that's just really hard to account for as a hitter when you're seeing the fastball all the way and then just at the last moment, it darts away from you and you can't reach it. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Cole with a move to first. Edmund back in on a dive. That's down and in. Two and two. Missed with a changeup. And now it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Got him swinging. And there's two down. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Run around the move. Pitch in for a strike. Oh, the throw is over his head. Edmund around second. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. I think a good throw to second base has a chance to catch him right there. So that's a throw he's going to want back behind the dish. And you roll the dice when you send the runner, but oftentimes you're trying to force some action, and it worked out great for him right there. Two outs. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string of a changeup. A hit and an error in the inning, but they failed to score. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers 2 and the Yankees nothing. Here in New York, here's Alex Verdugo. And now to an one. You know, these Yankees do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Starter's loose has to be getting tighter with this pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and a leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Here's Glaber Torres. Righty delivers. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. 2-1 now. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And Glaber Torres retired. One away. Here's Juan Soto. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs, and the count to a one. Two balls, one strike. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. Scout runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, bro. Aaron Judge on deck for the Yankees. Got him. And two away now. 
Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And now one and two. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Judge rips that one. Playable Betts makes the grab and there's one away. Judge out on the play. And the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. They trail it here 2 0. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Luis Heal. Teoscar Hernandez getting ready to hit. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Muncy digs in. Now back, third baseman, Max Muncy. Popped up left side. Chisholm settles under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. Now battle. The center fielder. Kike. So two down now. And here is Kike Hernandez. Right handed reliever. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're up to nothing. Now in the Bronx. Now it's the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong and their timing's off. Yeah, the right hater deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. The Yankees looking to rally. Is outside. Goes down looking. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And up next for New York, Jazz Chisholm Jr. That one fouled off. Just no, missing it, there. The two and two. It's a good take. In the air to left center. Hernandez on the move. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. Now back, the first baseman. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Swings through that one out in front that time. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. So the Yanks go in order. They're still down. It's two zip. We go to the eighth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. Yeah. 
close, but called the ball. Two balls and a strike. Good eye in that spot. Three one. And here it comes. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Volpe throws the first in time. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One down, base is empty. And another ball. And that one fouled off. Pitch misses. And now it's three and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Base is empty one away here in the late stages of game one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Next for L.A., Tommy Edmond. Two down, nobody on. On the ground at first. Loves it on the dive. Nicely done for the out. Excellent stop right there. He wants to take it himself. Waves the pitcher off and continues to run into the dugout. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. That one no, that miss. Miss, that's a ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Chu Cho, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. <laughs> Up the middle. Edmund slings to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Still rolling to start the eighth. Just five more outs to get. Austin Wells will hit next. This is where the no-hit bid really starts feeling real, but still a long ways to go. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The Yanks yet to pick up a hit here. And that one got a piece of him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Jack Flaherty gives way, and he was excellent. Really controlled this game on the mound. And we'll have a new arm for you in a minute. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Brustar Grotterol. Runner on at first with one gone. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. Tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. There's one. Double play. That he can't seem to break through. Inning over. So they go quietly there. We're on to the ninth in game one. It's the Dodgers two and the Yankees nothing.
We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Clark Schmidt. Back to the top of the lineup. Chris Taylor now. You can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. you got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you yeah. hope that he strikes the hitter out. Swing and a miss, one ball, and it's one and two. And ball. another ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. In the dirt, one. and that's ball three. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Tim Meza, the left hander, up and throwing. Lighter warming up as well. Turns and fires the bats. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And the pitch. In the air, right field. Stanton on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And the righty deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the night. Swings and misses, struck him out. No runs, no hits, no errors. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Dodgers two and the Yankees nothing. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Chu Cho. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Labor Torres up to the plate. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, it's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Two balls, two strikes. Three outs from a no hitter. And that's outside. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. In danger of losing the combined no-hitter. And a swing and a miss. One away. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And he deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. And now he's falling behind Judge. He's one out away from a no-hitter. Wouldn't chase that time. 
pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. In danger of losing the no hitter here. They're down to their final strike. Full count. Cho is just one strike away. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two outs. Good plate That's appearance there. Able to take the walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Now that right fielder. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. And things could change quickly here with one swing. The tying run at the plate. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. And that one missing low. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Jazz Chisholm Jr. waiting for a turn at the plate. Tying run at the plate. Strike three, called! It's a no-hitter!